All right here, today I'm going to talk about the recent news that is surrounding NASCAR driver and future Hall of Famer Jimmy Johnson and how he is now racing in IndyCar for the next two years. And I'm also going to talk about Auto Club Speedway getting turned into a short track. Got a lot to talk about today and let's get started. Brian Price and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. All right here, I'm going to start off with the biggest news of the day. Uh, Chip Ganassi Racing announced that they have partnered with seven-time champ Jimmy Johnson for two years in the IndyCar series. Uh, Jimmy is not going to race the big ovals such as Indianapolis, Iowa, and like that's not a road course. So you get the point. He's just going to race road courses only. So he'll race Road America. He'll race Mid-Ohio. If they race Portland, I'm not, I'm not too sure if they race there anymore. And then Pensacola and so many other road courses they race at. So Jimmy's got that, and he's going to probably race some NASCAR races. So next year, he's really not going anywhere. You're going to see him racing pretty much every single weekend. Uh, but this all started right at the beginning of July when NASCAR was going to Indianapolis, uh, but he tested positive for everyone knows why. And... He was supposed to have an IndyCar test, and that IndyCar test was postponed to a later date. Uh, but eventually, they found out a date, and mid-August, they came up and tested it, and Jimmy Johnson did pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. And it caught the eye of Chip Ganassi, because he said in a video I just saw recently uh, that Jimmy approached him many years ago, wanted to try and race these cars, but he didn't think he was that serious enough to actually want to compete in a couple races and he was all on board and then yeah Scott Dixon talking about how cool it's going to be for them to partner together and stuff like that uh Jimmy Johnson though going to IndyCar next year do I think he's going to win a couple races no but I think he might be able to contend for top 10s and maybe top 15s I don't know this is going to be interesting to see a seven time NASCAR champ in the IndyCar series but well, there you go, Jimmy Johnson going to Chip Ganassi Racing in the IndyCar Series for the next two years on road courses. But now I'm going to talk about Auto Club Speedway. Auto Club Speedway announced yesterday that they are going to turn their two-mile D-shaped oval into a half-mile short track. And this is just rumors here, what I just heard, uh, about the banking. It's, the straightaways are going to be long as Martinsville. But the corners are going to be high as Bristol. So it's like Martinsville and Bristol combined. Uh, the corners are going to be around 28 degrees banking. That's just what I saw. You can't believe everything you see on the internet. But I saw that from a somewhat reliable source. So if this were to be true and everything fall along the plan, they could be racing at this uh, half mile track in 2022. Their plan is to race the two mile oval in 2021. And as soon as that race concludes, they're gonna start construction on working onto the two, uh, half mile track and get it ready for 2022. So Auto Club now get turned into a short track. It's 2020, anything can happen. And uh, you saw a lot of controversy, especially on Twitter about this. Uh, uh, they're wanting more short tracks, but why you gotta take away Auto Club? Auto Club the last couple of years has been a track where bad racing has been around. I, I, I can say that without hesitating. Auto Club the last couple of years has been boring to watch. Uh, just, it's about time they finally change things up. Do I think this needs to happen to every other track on the schedule with having bad races? No, but I think it's worth the try. If this were to be good, maybe you see uh, Texas or Kentucky that is struggling and producing uh, good racing results and uh, maybe they might change things up. It's it just, it's just crazy how things are going nowadays. It wouldn't surprise me a single bit to see something like that happen. But there you go. Those are the two big headlines of the day. Jimmy Johnson partnering up with Chip Ganassi Racing for the 2021 and 2022 season on road courses. And Auto Club Speedway uh, two-mile track is getting now demolished and turned into a half-mile track straight away as long as Martinsville and corner as high as Bristol. So... It's 2020. Anything can happen. I keep on saying that. That's Kyle Bush quote. Everybody, though, remember to please like and subscribe.